In this video, I will tell you a success story. Well, sort of. This is Mike. Mike is a passionate entrepreneur and developer who one day had a revolutionary idea for an app. It was a system to transfer money to anyone in seconds with no intermediaries and, best of all, no fees and no ads. Mike was so successful that he started formalizing his company and expanding across the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Success continued, and he was ready for the next step, global expansion. Europe, Asia, Africa, Latin America, the expansion sounded ambitious. Everything was going great until, within hours of the app going live, users began reporting issues. Transactions in several countries started to fail. The amounts didn't match what users intended to send. There was a wave of hate on social media, people uninstalling the app, leaving awful reviews for the company. Mike and his team were desperate. Everything worked in their test. And after several days, Mike's company stock crashed and the business went bankrupt. Mike's dream was shattered, all because of two symbols, a period and a comma. Yes, I know it sounds ridiculous, but a comma or a period can literally destroy your app or your company if you don't pay attention to one important thing, the device locale. You see, the way we separate integers from decimals It's in the same in every country. In some places, like the United States, we use a period. But there are other characters that serve the same purpose. For example, a comma instead of a period, as in countries like Germany, Spain, or Brazil, or even the Arabic decimal mark, which is not the same as the regular comma, used in countries like Saudi Arabia or the United Arab Emirates. Beyond that, It's also important to understand how integer grouping works in different countries. In the US, Canada, Mexico, or Japan, grouping is usually in blocks of three digits separated by commas. Elsewhere, it's different. In Switzerland, an apostrophe separates every three digits, while in Russia or France, spaces are used. And in India, it goes even further. While commas are used, Grouping follows a 3-2-2 pattern. That means the lowest order group before the decimal has three digits, and the higher order groups are two digits each. Here's a slightly more detailed list of combinations. As you can see, this problem is a lot more complex than it appears at the first glance. Fortunately, Apple provides the concept of locale in its platforms to get region information number formats, and related data for the current region. If you plan to launch your app in multiple countries, it's essential to remember that formats vary from country to country and device to device. Now that you understand why locale matters, it's time to see an example of an application that didn't take in consideration the region. What I'm going to show you is a simplified version of the problem I mentioned earlier. Here, we have a text field asking us to enter an amount. Notice the keyboard is configured to input numbers and the period as a decimal separator. Also, as I type numbers, they are grouped in blocks of three using commas. Finally, I can add a decimal point, and the app recognizes that only one decimal point is allowed. If I try to add more, it's not permitted. When I press send, the amount to process is displayed. If the number has more than two decimal digits, we keep only the first two. The app works perfectly. I typed the number and the result to send is correct. However, that's because the current region on the phone is United States, as you can see on the screen. Now, what happens if I change the region to a country like South Africa? Let's go to settings and change the region. The option is general, language and region, and region. Now, we just pick the country from the list and apply the changes. Notice the phone does a brief soft reset 
to apply the appropriate data formats for that country. You can already see different default configurations here, but even within a region, I could choose a different option if I want it. For now, I'll keep the defaults for each region. Now let's reopen the app. Now the app restarts after the region change. If we tap a text field, you'll see that the decimal separator is now a comma, nor a period like before. If we enter the same number again, the text field behaves exactly the same as before. That's because we are only manipulating plain text. The problem comes when we press send. Watch how the app throws an error. In South Africa, integers are often grouped with spaces every three digits, not commas. So when the code tries to parse this text into a number, it can interpret it correctly. Also, if this were a real app, there would be no way to enter decimals because the text field expects a period and filters out anything that isn't a digit or period, so a comma decimal wouldn't be allowed. Since we are on the simulator, I can type a period from my keyword. But because it's not a valid decimal symbol for South Africa, it still fails. Now that we can clearly see the issue, let's look at the code. Let's start with a custom text field that handles all the validations for separator. When we press the send button, we called calculate amount, which uses a class called number for murder to convert the raw text from the field into a numeric format. In this case, we specify a decimal number with a maximum of two fraction g. That number is transformed into an ns number. If parsing fails, we return an error string. If the formatter is able to convert the string to a number, we display it in the UI. Now let's dig into the custom text field implementation. We have a numeric keyboard that allows a decimal separator, and on each keystroke, we analyze the input to keep a valid numeric format. Here is the problematic part. The sanitization has three steps. One, check every character and allow only digits and a single period. Everything else is ignored. Two, split into integer and fraction by the period. And three, group the integer part in blocks of three using a comma. Finally, we return the grouped integer and, if it exists, the fraction. Although this code is inefficient in several ways, I kept it simple to focus on the real issue of the video, the region. The problem is that both the decimal and grouping separators are hard-coded, so this code only works in regions that use those exact characters. Any other variation will produce inconsistent results. So, how do we fix it? First, let's pass locale as a parameter. With this, we can get the correct separators based on the current region. It also allows dependency injection for unit testing. Now, let's read the decimal separator from the locale. Since this property is optional, I'm adding a default character. I'm not entirely sure why Apple mark it optional. Ideally, it should always be present. If you know, please tell me in the comments. For demo purposes, I'll keep period at the default, although you might want a better validation in real code. Now replace the hard-coded period in step 1 and 2. Next, do the same for the grouping separator. Replace the hard-coded commas with the locales grouping character. Technically, that's it. Let's run the app again. If we test South Africa, the grouping separator is a space, and when we submit, we get the correct result. Even the decimal separator works. Now let's try the United States again. It also works perfectly. Now let's test India. We got an error. 
Do you know why? The problem is how we are grouping numbers. For small numbers that don't require grouping, this will work fine. But we are grouping all the integers in blocks of 3. In most regions, that's correct. But in India, only the lowest order group before the decimals is 3 digits. The rest are grouped by 2. Because we are not using the correct regional format, the conversion fails. The issue is that step 3 of the algorithm always expect 3 digit groups, which we now know is incorrect. Writing custom logic just for India or any 3 to 2 locale is tedious and book prone. Instead of refactoring this further, let's replace it with the following. We take the integer part, the fractional part, and the locale to produce grouping according to the current region. We use two number formatters. Parse int converts int part to ns number, and group converts that number back to a properly grouped string. Finally, the result appends the fractional part if it exists. Now, call group number from sanitized digits. Time to test again. Now the format in India is correct. Here are a few more tests I run in different regions, like Gabon and Spain. I think you get the point. You should always consider the device region when working with numeric values, especially if you are dealing with money or precise measurement. The link to this demo is in the video description. Now, I would like to know what do you think about this implementation. Let me know in the comments down below. My name is Pete, and this, this is Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.